We're going to start off with dipping all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. So Peace and citations will hopefully let. Just a quick, uh, a quick lunch break. Uh, a video through the spirit. Lord willing, it's edifying. Uh, I got the brother Daniela here with me, and we're just going to jump straight into it. Go ahead, brother. Right. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse, uh, verse 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. So this is the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. Right. So a thief usually moves in the night because this is this is the time where, you know, he is uh, his face is harder to be seen. OK, he's able to move uh, in the darkness. He's able to move uh, through the through the through the shadows of the night, as they will usually say. Right. Mm -hmm. But it says a thief will come. Uh, read again, Bubba Kishaw. Right. It says. But uh, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. The earth also and the works thereof are, uh, sorry, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, so this is talking about the destruction, the thermonuclear destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great. That's why it says the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything is made out of the elements of the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all these different things that we see around us are uh, are going to burn. All right, go ahead. Right, and, and really, you know, when it's talk about uh, the Lord coming as a thief in the night, meaning He's going to come uh, unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. Right, go ahead. Okay, this is uh, verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, so. You know, uh, read that in the, in the NLT. Right. You the, you want the NLT? Actually, I got an NLT. I'll read it right okay, here. Okay, I got the NIV. It says, since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, what holy and godly lives you should live. You see? So that's really, uh, it's, it's, right. it's an exhortation, but it's a warning at the same time. Because okay. it's letting you know of what's going to take place when our Lord, uh, when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns to the planet Earth. How these different things are going to be destroyed and we are telling you the way how they're going to be destroyed is by the thermonuclear destruction so then it goes on to say how should you uh conduct yourself mm -hmm. right right how how should you conduct yourself on the earth right 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 i got this version right here if, if, if you go ahead like read uh this this is what it says in the niv it says since everything will be destroyed in this way what kind of people are you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so basically just saying, you know, your, 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 your con, what, what is your con? Basically, you should be living in a, a, a righteous conduct. OK. Mm -hmm. You should you should be operating in the spirit. That's basically what is really going into. How you should be operating, how you yeah. should conduct well, yourself. As long as I got the time. To right. Do it. Right. So, right. Going on, I oh, you want to continue reading right there? Yeah, so it says uh verse <clears throat> verse twelve says looking forward to the day of the most high and hurrying hurrying it along. On that day he will set the heavens on fire and the elements will melt away in the flames. Mm -hmm. But we are looking forward to the new heavens and a new earth, as he has promised, a world filled with God's righteousness so this is why we don't we don't get you know discombobulated of hearing these things of how the destruction is going to take place on the planet earth because this earth needs the earth and the people not you know this earth there needs to be a great judgment uh a great judgment needs to come upon the earth unto these uh, uh, uh rebellious wicked people okay but within with with that destruction coming right will what usher in the kingdom and we know that so we're not you know all out of whack behind hearing uh or, or reading destruction scriptures because these things must be these things gotta come mm -hmm. right what you got yep yep i got this right here this is uh luke chapter 12 and uh verse verse uh verse 36 <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm walking towards the shade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke chapter twelve, verse thirty-six. It says, uh, 
Let your, it says, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding. And when he cometh and knocketh that uh, they may open unto him immediately. So <clears throat> with, within, within uh, how we're conducting ourselves, knowing that this place is going to be destroyed and that the Lord is going to destroy it. We, we we have to be watching, man. You know, because we're 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 looking for that these prophecies to come to pass. So you have to be continually watching. You know, right, right, being mindful, right, on your watch. That's mm -hmm. right. Yep, that's right. It says, uh, "Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when He cometh, shall find watching." Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And if and if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants, right? So you're, you're, you're watching, man. You're, you're, you're waiting for the Lord, right? <clears throat> one, and one, like the scripture says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Mm -hmm. You measure the time with the prophecies. You know, all these different things the, the, the judgment is going to take these people by surprise. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to take the true, you know, the elect who are watching for these prophecies. We're expecting it. It's our, it's our hopeful expectation, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that, that's the beginning of what? The, the, the nation of Israel being established on the earth again. Yeah. Well you, well, you think about what the servants are doing. We're hastening unto the coming of the day of our powers. Kind, kind. You see? That's what we're doing. So it's, like you said, it's not going to uh, take us by surprise. Uh, necessarily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Mm. Right. It says, uh, be ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Right. So he's going to come at an unexpected time. You know, so that's why you always want to be watching, always want to be watching your conduct. Right. Because as it says in Revelations, what is that? The 22nd chapter it says, um, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to render unto every man uh, uh, what he doeth, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's got consequences for the righteous and he got consequences for the wicked. We want to always, you know, be watchful so that we might receive the consequence for the righteous man, receive glory. Mm -hmm. And salvation. Yep. Yeah, that yep. was it right there, bro. Yep. Because that's what it's about. Salvation. As, as we see these things taking place on earth, you know, are, you know, when you see these things, all the different signs that's taking place on the earth, you know, your first you know, thought should be, uh, what should, uh, what can I do to escape this? Right. Right. What, what can I do to be covered uh, from this, uh, from these harsh or the wrath and the judgments that's going to come upon the planet Earth. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Well, the Lord has given us uh, the blueprint of mm -hmm. what to do. Okay, that we may escape or that we may avoid, you know, the destruction and the judgments that's coming upon the planet Earth. But it's already going to be written in you to do so. Right. You know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's already going to be written in you to do so. All right. Um, that's all I got for is. Uh, Matter of fact, no, I got one more. I'll read it. So it says, verse 14, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 14, it says, And so, dear friends, while you are waiting for these things to happen, make every effort to be found living peaceful lives that are pure and blameless in his sight. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, that's, you know, amongst the brotherhood, amongst within your own household, uh, dealing amongst... Uh, friends, foes, uh, you know, just how you walk in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, because what the scripture says, uh, um, say like, be patient uh, with all men. Right, right. Be uh, peaceable with all that's, men. That's what it is. Like, yeah, be peaceable with all men. You know, because need be, we know a lot of these heathens, what they deserve, and they're going to get what they deserve. Mm -hmm. Right? But as, as we know, as vengeance is of the Lord right now, we got to operate in the spirit and we got to be blameless. Right, right. You know? Right. That's why, and when you read in, um, 
as I mentioned in scripture before, the Lord is going to come to give recompense to everyone for what work, the works that they did upon the earth. You know, after after that, the verse after that, it says, let he that is filthy be filthy still, and that he that is righteous be righteous still, man. Yep. You know? Yep. yep. So yep. that's why that's why you don't you don't worry about oh trying to um uh uh uh, uh revenge your, your revenge yourself of the different things that people do to you. You you leave the wrath unto the Lord. Because yep. he already got he already got their judgment planned out for him. That's right. They want to continue to do wickedly, let them let them continue to do wickedly. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the Lord got something for him. That's right. You know? Right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, so that's it, that's it. Yep, that's it. Edify. So next time I wanna say, or we wanna say Shalom. Shalom.